gentlemen, and welcome to tonight's matchup between Hanover High School and your Brockton Fosters. For tonight, we'd like to take this opportunity to encourage you to display respect and good sportsmanship to all involved, so we can create a positive environment for our teams and their fans. Please do your part by showing respect to every spectator, athlete, coach, and official involved in today's contest. This game is being played according to the NIA rules. Thank you for coming out to tonight's game and enjoy. Now, the starting lineup for Hanover High School. Number 20, Megan Dixon. Number 24, Erin Flint. Number 33, Taylor Sock. Number 44, Megan Rapp. And number 45, Lauren Jelly. Hanover is coached by Brian Fisher. And now, the starting Gentlemen, boys and girls, basketball fans of all ages, welcome into Staff Gymnasium, home of your Brockton Boxers for tonight's Plymouth County matchup between the Hanover Indians and your Brockton Boxers. Once again, I am Mad Dog Matt Nelson, joined alongside my broadcast partner, Big Game Miles Jackson. Miles, Brockton coming off a few big wins and a good effort in their last matchup. Yes, they, they look good as a team the last time we seen them the other day. And I expect this to continue on this evening against um, Hanover High School, the Indians. And um, hopefully um, Brockton can get off to a fast start. Here we go, Blood. Brockton coming off a big win against big three-divisional rival Durfee. A game in which they didn't have a field goal for the first two and a half minutes, uh, until two and a half minutes remained in the first quarter. But we're able to turn it on late and pull away for a big victory. Brianna Santos in to take the opening tip off against number 44, Megan Robb. That's a pretty big uh, Hanover team. Hanover's got some pretty tall girls on the court. Yeah. So what Brockton's gonna have to do, I can see right now Brockton's gonna have to run these, these uh, tall girls who call themselves the Indians. Taylor Scott driving inside, laying it off the glass, no good. The rebound is out of bounds off of Scott. Hanover playing a man defense. Jelani Jackson and off the inbounds to Alexandra Gennaros. Gennaros, holder of the single game scoring record for the Brockton Boxers. 
over to Santos. Santos to Jelani Jackson. Jelani Jackson from way downtown, no good. And Taylor Scott gets the rebound. Hanover with a big size advantage over Brockton. Scott from the charity stripe is good and Hanover draws first blood. Jelani Jackson now, 7.15 left to the Muffin Indians over the boxers. Alex Gennaros leaving it for Michaela Robinson. Robinson to Jackson. Jackson kicking it back out to Gennaros. Gennaros driving inside, runs into three Indians, hits the floor, no foul called. And a shot falls into the arms of Taylor Scott. Scott to number 24, Aaron Flynn, back to Scott. Number 45 saving the ball from going out of bounds. And 20 getting her own rebound. She was not fouled, but she went down. And Annalisa Fernandez will replace Jade Wint. Yeah, good, good defense by Jackson underneath. Put her arms up and blocked that shot. Look, possibly there could have been a foul call there. But I can see Hanover's using the inside, using their inside game more than anything. Santos to Fernandez, who can't hold on to the pass that had some Chinese mustard on it. Yeah. Find his way out of bounds. Problem right there, Matt. Santos didn't look up soon enough. She could have had an easy pass down there, and um, her teammate was waving, but she didn't see her until after she took about four steps down the court by that time. Defense had a chance to get back there, and it, like you said, a little bit too much mustard on the pass. Gelly's pass deflects off of Gennaro outside of bounds. Hanover retains with 20 seconds on the shot clock. Scott over to Aaron Flynn. Flynn to Gelly. Gelly to Scott, short jumper, good. Yeah, she could have come right in and just laid it in off the backboard if she wanted to, but she felt comfortable taking that little five-foot shot. Brianna Santos in for Annalisa Fernandez. She hands off to Jelani Jackson. Jackson setting up the boxer offense. Yeah, the boxers have two good ball handlers with uh, Jackson and Gennaro's. Gennaro's driving inside, finds some space off the glass. Wow. Wild spin. And that finds its way in. Brockton on the board, 4-2 to two with 5.42 left to go. Yeah, nice touch off the glass by Gennaro's. She knew exactly where to put that ball to make it go in. Hanover, not a lot of dribbling, which is both good and bad. Yeah. A lot of fiery passes. Jackson from way downtown, no good. Taylor Scott coming down with the rebound. Scott Wild looking for Flynn, and that finds its way out of bounds. Yeah, that was caused by good defense on uh, the boxes part. Five ten left to go now in the first quarter. Four to two, the Indians over the boxers. Gennaro's pump fake drives baseline, kicks it out to Fernandez. Fernandez does the same thing. Underhanded layup, no good. Brought down by Megan Dixon, the senior captain of the Indians. She flings it right into the arms of Alex Gennaro's. And Gennaro's to Robinson. Robinson to Jelani Jackson. And Brockton with a missed opportunity there. It was three on one. Yeah, Robinson, I, she could have went in possibly. Maybe she didn't feel comfortable left side of that basket, but uh, it was there for her to choose, and unfortunately, Brockton blows a great fast break opportunity right there. Yeoman's work by athletic director Kevin Caro, who just sprinted across the gym. I like it, he sprinted across the gym, he sprinted. Huh? Aaron Flynn working her way inside. Wow, floater no good, Gennaros with the rebound. Brockton looking to tie it up, Megan uh, Michaela Robinson, rather, for three, no good. Fernandez tipping the rebound. Excellent second effort there, and she was fouled. Exactly, great effort by the Lady Boxes on that particular play. That foul called against Taylor Scott. Ooh, nice job there. Gennaro's nice, beautiful pass. 
Four to four, Brockton tying it up. Scott with some space for the floater is good, and Hanover takes the lead right back. Yeah, but Lady Box is gonna have to do something about that play right there. Usually when uh, Hanover runs it, it's wide open in the paint. Gennaro's pump fakes, gives it to Fernandez to Robinson. Robinson followed it, now gives it to Jelani Jackson. Jackson wild floor. Wow. Jackson in. Ooh. A terrible angle. That was like an Isaiah Thomas like. Now Fernandez comes up with a steal. Michaela Robinson was in alone. Again, Fernandez she, didn't. She didn't look up. Had her no. teammate underneath. Not, not a wide shot right there. That was a difficult a shot. Wild spin around layup attempt. No good. Now Gelly for two. No good. And the message of the year just shouted out from the Hanover bench. With follow your shot. Follow your shot. Jackson to Robinson. Robinson likes to shoot the outside ball. Brianna Santos pump fakes. Loses it. Jelani Jackson picks it up. Kicks it to Gennaros. Gennaros working her way inside to Fernandez. Fernandez surrounded by Indians. And number 45 coming down with it. And it's going to be a timeout by head coach Brian Fisher of the Hanover Indians, 6-6 six six with 2.51 left in the first quarter. Yeah, a good call by the coach. He was right there when um, the Brockton defender got his, just as she got her hands on that ball, he called a timeout. And that would have been a Brockton basketball had a jump ball been called. So excellent awareness there by head coach Brian Fisher. I tell you, it's been a defensive battle so far on both sides of the court. Brockton's hanging with a much bigger Hanover team. Yeah, Hanover's got the advantage right now out there on the court. So, like I said, Brockton's going to have to use their speed and their uh, smarts to beat the Giants of uh, Hanover High. 2.51 left in the first quarter again. All tied up 6-6. Six to six. Hanover with a fresh 30 second clock. All the way down to the oh, X. Sorry. Gennaro's coming down with the loose ball and now she's on the floor and she rolled out of bounds. Good hustle there by Gennaro's. You don't see it too careless with the basketball too often. Aaron Flynn taking a seat on the bench, a quick breather. The replacement, Janae Devlin. Devlin from the charity stripe, no good. Number 44 with a big size advantage was called for the travel. It was good defense by Lady Boxes. Caused that travel. Michaela Robinson. Loses it to Gelly. Gelly down low. A whistle called, a whistle blown. I believe Brianna Santos called for a push. That that was a good foul right there. It prevented um, Hanover from getting an easy shot. Jade went in for Michaela Robinson. Scott from just inside the arc, no good. Rebound to Megan Robb and she puts it in. Yeah, good strong move by Megan. She used her body there. She's the tallest one out on the court. Janaris losing it between her legs and Taylor Scott to Robb. Robb all the way in, laying it up, no good. Brianna Santos coming down with the rebound, fighting for space. Able to fling it to Jelani Jackson who was followed by Megan Dixon. 
Yeah, good job by Santos to fight off the defense and get the ball to her guard, Jackson. Gennaro sent for Analicia Fernandez, who hands it off to Jelani Jackson. A minute 15 to go in the first quarter, eight to six Hanover on top. And what has been a very good defensive battle, Jelani Jackson for two, no good. And now Rob, double and triple team, able to get it to Taylor Scott. A long three will be wide to the left. Jelani, uh, Jade Wint coming down with the rebound. And Brianna Santos. Lady Boxes would have been better off just letting that ball go out of bounds. Yeah, Brianna Santos stepped out of bounds with the rebound. Three way too long. Fernandez coming down with the rebound quickly to Alexandra Gennaros. Gennaros bouncing it hard in for Jade Wint. Intercepted there by Janae Devlin. And Wint called for the push. I don't know if I saw a push. I think it was more the feet got tangled up more than a push. That was good defensive play by the Lady Boxes. Unfortunately, a foul was called on that play, but uh, unfortunate for the Boxes. Devlin losing it out of bounds. Rockin' will take over right in front of their own bench. Hanover kind of laying off on defense a little bit, letting the Brockton boxers inbound and take the ball up court. Jelani Jackson to Gennaros. Yeah, possibly to let the uh, Lady Indians could be getting a little winded playing that tough uh, full court defense. Down low for number 45, Lauren Gary, and she puts it up and in. A great transition game right there by the uh, Hanover team. Jelani Jackson, his time is running out, turns the ball over to number 45, Lauren Gary, and she will not have the opportunity to put up a last second Hail Mary. The score at the end of the first quarter, 10 to six miles, a defensive battle that has been getting a little bit sloppy in the paint. Yeah, a little bit sloppy, uh, especially by the boxes. They're, uh, they brought the ball down a number of times and just lost possession of the basketball, either by a bad pass or just uh, letting the handover play a stealer from them. This is a good handover team, no doubt about it. They're tall, so Brockton has a an, another hurdle to climb, um, jump over is the, the rebounding effort. They, they're doing an okay job. They're only down by four points, but and they're not hitting their, their, their outside shots. They're not really getting much from the outside, so if they can start heating up from the outside, they'll, they'll, move it, they'll do a little bit better on the inside. Jelani Jackson has taken a few shots from beyond the arc. None of them have been successful thus far, but when she starts heating up, the entire Brockton boxers elevate to her level. Yes, they do. They, they all feed off of Jackson. 10 to six coming into the second quarter. Brockton trailing the Hanover Indians. I tell you, Santos and uh, Hernandez doing a great job uh, underneath fighting with these uh, big trees of uh, Hanover. They're hanging in there. Jelani Jackson to Jade Wint for three is no good. A little bit too long. And Janae Devlin coming down with the rebound. Devlin to Catherine Fallon and her two is good. Fernandez to Gennaros. Gennaros bouncing it over to Jackson. Jackson stopping and popping long two off the front of the rim. Now Megan Dixon spinning within him for Rob and nah, she's good, good call. For the travel. Good call. She did travel. And the ref saw it. I'll tell you, Megan Rob looks like a natural volleyball player. Yeah, she does. Very similar to Morgan Thatcher of Ghost of Boxer Championship teams past. Yeah, legend of uh, Brockton High volleyball, um, girls volleyball. His name still hangs in the rafters here at yeah. Stockton Museum for volleyball. Jelani Jackson way downtown off the back of the rim, no good. Morgan Thatcher first now 
coaching volleyball over at Stonehill College. Devlin over to Scott, back to Devlin. Losing it, Jelani Jackson trying to outrun the Hanover defense. Yeah, smart job by Jackson. And Gennaris was fouled. It's too bad she couldn't have got a little bit more lift on that basketball. She tried to finger roll it in. A little bit short, but she's at the um, free throw line. And that's something the boxers haven't been too much in this uh, game so far. Gennaris, six of six last game at the charity stripe. Yeah, shot. Not uh, normal for Gennaro's to miss. Like you said, the last game she was perfect. And one or two at the line now. 12 to seven, Brockton down by five. With six and a half to go in the second quarter. Taylor Scott over to Fallon. Back to Scott and Fernandez comes up with a loose ball. To Brianna Santos who is running a little bit too fast. Brockton creating the turnover in the paint. Fernandez to Gennaros and Gennaros. Ah, uh, should have been a foul there. Absolutely. There was a body. Block. Yeah, should have been a foul. So uh, Hanover got away with one right there. It was out of bounds off of Hanover and the good news for Brockton is Megan Robb, who has been terrorizing the paint thus far, is having a quick breather on the bench. Fernandez to Gennaros to Jackson. Stops and pops for two is good. Hopefully that's a good sign right there. Jackson finally hits one. Maybe she can start heating up. Get some of these other lady boxes fired up. Go down low, count it in one. Great play right there. Not a lot of not a lot the lady boxes could do right there. Quick, quick, crisp passing. And we got the one of the uh, forwards up there right underneath to put it right in. Brianna Santos called for the hit to the face. So Lauren Kelly at the line for two, uh, to make the three point play. No good. Jade Wint coming down with the rebound. Michaela Robinson, the substitution for Brianna Santos. Alex Gennaros driving baseline, trying to fling it out to Jackson. Instead, finds the waiting arms of Megan Dixon, who stepped out of bounds. Good defense right there by Gennaro's and uh, I believe number 30 for the boxers, Robinson. Jelani Jackson, <laughs> when she went to take that inbound, looks a little bit gassed. Yeah, there hasn't been a lot of uh, lady boxer substitutions in this ball game so far. Out of bounds off of Hanover, so Alex Gennaros in for Jelani Jackson as she was falling out of bounds, able to get it to Michaela Robinson. Robinson to Wint to Gennaros. Gennaros trying to find Fernandez, a little bit of a force on that play and Dixon comes away with it. Yeah, Gennaros has forced it about four or five times in this ball game. It's just great defense by Hanover. Taylor Scott for number 24, her three no good. That was Aaron Flynn back in the ball game. Great block out by Gennaros to get that defensive board. Gennaros, bad angle shot, no good. And Megan Robb getting ready to come back into the game. Brockton unable to capitalize with the absence of the big man in the paint. Off the side of the backboard, Robinson coming down with the rebound. Weaving and bobbing, now Gennaros for three, no good. Fernandez tapping the rebound to Dixon. And it quickly finds its way to Taylor Scott. Just halfway through the second quarter, 14 to nine, Hanover on top of Rocket. Scott to Fallon. 
And now a three from Scott, no good. Fernandez coming down with the rebound will be a jump ball. So Megan Robb back in the game, along with Elizabeth Williams for Brockton for her first minutes of the day. And number 20, Megan Dixon will have a breather on the bench. Yeah, good, good idea to get uh, Fernandez a rest. She's really been working hard out there. Right off the bat, Megan Robb having an impact. She will look for three points the old-fashioned way. Yeah, Megan took advantage right away of the mismatch of the substitution. And um, you saw what happened. She's at the free throw line. Missing her one attempt, 16 to nine, up by seven of the Indians. Jackson to Williams, back to Jackson. Wild shot, no good. Out of bounds off the field, Wint. Yeah, Hannah was making it really, really tough for Brockton to uh, use their inside game. It's basic, basically been shut down for the most part by these uh, tough Hanover Lady Indians. Now a quick layup for Aaron Flynn. And timeout called by head coach April Dingwell. Brockton being doubled up right now, 18 to nine. Yeah, just been, a, been great defense by Hanover with their height advantage and they're using it 100% in this ball game. That's why they got a nine point lead. But if Brockton could have hit some shots, this game will be a little bit closer than what it is right now. And right now, it's it's still, Brockton still um, is in the hunt, but they're going to have to start hitting some of them outside shots like uh, Jackson just did not too long ago in this uh, second quarter. We take this stoppage to remind you, Brockton Community Access is on Twitter. We are at Brockton Channel. If you would like to talk to us about anything relevant to Brockton area sports, hashtag BCA Sports. Includes Southeastern Regional, Cardinal Spellman, Brockton High, the Brockton Rocks. Any former players for those teams that are on to bigger and better things? Pretty much anything. Hashtag PCA Sports. There you go. Of course, we would like to wish a now happy belated birthday. To Mrs. Jackson. Yeah, yeah. And she had a very nice birthday. Now, when, when people say the better half, Mrs. Jackson is like the better half of Brockton. <laughs> oh, yeah, she's definitely the better half. She's the one that keeps Miles saying Jelani Jackson way downtown is good. Good shot right there by Jackson. Speaking of Jacksons. No relation. But she's representing the name very proudly. Wow, that was just pure height advantage right there. Janae Devlin. Devlin went up high, then kicked it out high. Jelani Jackson with a little bit of space, hands it off to Alex Gennaros. Lonnie Jackson from the east side of Brockton, no good. <laughs> Actually, she was shooting from the west, so that would have been from Easton. But Mrs. Jackson is the one that keeps big game Miles Jackson sane because he's gonna sit next to me every day. <laughs> exactly. Taylor Scott over to Dixon. Dixon hard across for Rob for three, no good. And Alicia Fernandez coming down with the uncontested rebound. All the way up to Gennaros. Gennaros should have kicked it out. Michaela Robinson and Jelani Jackson were both wide open beyond the arc. Yep, Gennaros trying to make something happen. Good moves underneath, but she kind of forced it up there. 
start out to Dixon in for Rob. And Williams will find her way back in the game. She replaces Annalise here, Fernandez. Yeah, good, good defense right there. Good idea to take Fernandez out, give her a little bit of extra rest with 138. No need of keeping her in there, give her a little extra rest with the um, half coming up. 20 to 12, Brockton down by eight, with about a minute and a half left in the second quarter. Now it's Gennaros, forcing it in for Jade Witt. Now Jelani Jackson. Jackson to Robinson, Robinson to Williams. In for Jade Witt, quick off the grass and in with one on the shot clock. Nice job, Lady Boxers working around till they finally worked it inside and that time it worked. Long three for number 20, Megan Dixon, no good. Jade Wint turning the ball back over. Jade Wint now called for the push. Yeah, she's got to hold on to that basketball a little bit stronger, especially when you know there's um, defenders right around you. Jade Devlin to Dixon for three is good. Ooh, she's got that shot down pat. Let's see a little anything you can do, I can do better from Jelani Jackson. Williams to Gennaros with 30 seconds left on the clock. And Alex Gennaros called for the travel. Shot clock is off, 28.7 and Brockton is down. 23 to 14, nine point edge for the Indians. Yeah, they're really d up on Gennaro. She's been shut down this both quarters. I think she's made one field goal. Good outside ball movement. Lauren Gelly coming down with it. Taylor Scott to Dixon. In for Rob now to Devlin. For two, no good. Gennaro's coming down with the rebound. Six seconds left. Brockton, plenty of time for last second shot. Jade Wint will take it. No good off the back of the rim. The buzzer sounds of the first half has come to an end. 23 to 14, nine point edge for the Indians going into the break. Miles, what does Brockton have to do to climb their way back into this one and to combat the height of the Hanover Indians? And the only way they can come back in this ball game, they gotta start hitting shots. Um, they're deep. Their defense is good as it can be as far as uh, playing against a very tall team. Um, they're, they're fighting for rebounds, but the best thing they can do is start making shots. 23-14, Brockton down by nine to the Hanover Indians. They will look to claw their way back into this one in the second half. We are going to step aside and take a short break and bring you the second half right after this. Get caught buzz driving, and you could do some hard time. Craig, knock it off. Sorry, Mom. It could cost you around $10,000 in fines, legal fees, and increased insurance rates. And that could set you back a few years. Buzzed, busted, and broke. Because buzz driving is drunk driving. Ladies, gentlemen, boys, and girls, basketball fans of all ages, welcome back into Staff Gymnasium for second half action between the Hanover Indians and your Brockton Boxers. Once again, I'm Matt Dog, Matt Nelson. Joining alongside my broadcast partner, big game, Miles Jackson. Miles, a defensive battle in the first half. Hanover comes in with a 23 to 14 point lead and creating turnovers in the paint like you just saw there. Yeah, and, and that's what the Boxers can't do is create so many turnovers. They had a whole bunch of them in that first half. They gotta cut down on them and make some of their shots to get back in this ball game. Right now, they're only down by uh, nine points. Gennaro and Jelani Jackson have had the majority of buckets for the Brockton Boxers. Hanover, a much bigger team that didn't commit a lot of fouls in that first half. Brianna Santos with her two personal fouls to Alex Gennaro. Gennaro stopping and popping for three is no good. 
Santos with the rebound, counted in one. Yeah, nice job by Santos, got the rebound, took one bounce, went to the basket, put it up there off the glass and got fouled in the process. Chance for a three-point play here. Now Santos trying to earn three points the old-fashioned way, does just that. Yeah, Santos playing a yeoman game underneath, considering the circumstances of the height advantage. Brockton double teaming the shooter. Now a three from Aaron Flynn, no good. Michaela Robinson coming down with the rebound. Robinson handing off to Jelani Jackson. Jackson to Gennaros. Gennaros hoping it to Robinson. Back one handed over to Gennaros. Gennaros to Jackson. Jackson trying to get inside. Instead throws it. Attempted out of bounds off Megan Robb. Didn't really bounce the way she wanted it to. And now three is good wow. for Megan Dixon. Yeah, Megan D Dixon is dangerous from the outside. Gennaro's down low, driving baseline off the bottom of the rim. 26-17. Jelani Jackson now trying to get it to Michaela Robinson. Well, you can see the frustration on Jackson's face on that particular play as the defender was just all over her as he was trying to make that pass. She looks a little gassed, too. Yeah. Well, I think she's been out there the whole game. That's what they said. Jade went stopping and popping her shot blocked. Yeah, she's got she's to gotta go up a little bit stronger than that when you're playing a team that... Everybody is her height. Jackson strong up for Brianna Santos. Santos stopping, letting the offense catch up. Now a short two from the paint. No good. Gennaros committing the foul on the rebound attempt. She didn't see much of a foul. She just went in and was aggressive. But uh, the ref saw something that I didn't see. Anyway, good hustle by Gennaros. Megan Dixon to Taylor Scott to Aaron Flynn. Flynn back to Scott. Dixon for three is good. Wow. Bounce off the front of the rim and it had just enough spin on it to find its way in. A timeout called by Brockton. 5.01 to go in the third and a 12 point edge for the Hanover Indians. Yeah, and the reason being Hanover's hitting those outside shots at this moment. Increasing that lead a little bit. Box has got a counter. The outside shooting of Brockton has not had many opportunities yet. But Brockton struggling with the size advantage of the Hanover Indians, Miles. And we saw it on the last offensive possession. Jade went. Didn't go up quite fast enough, and she had a stop block. Yeah, exactly. When, when, you, when you're playing a team where uh, all, all the um, opponents are just as tall as you, and you're one of the tallest members of your team, you've got when you get that ball, you've got to really put it up quickly. Jelani Jackson now under five minutes to go. 4.55 in the third quarter. Michaela Robinson to Gennaros. Gennaros hard in looking for Santos. And it's picked up by the Hanover Indians. Taylor Scott spinning with it. Dixon driving baseline all the way in off the glass. Too easy. Yeah, way too easy.
4.20 left in the third quarter. 31-17, Brianna Santos along two, no good. Fernandez coming down with the rebound. Shouldn't have bounced it, should have exactly. gone straight up. Took the words right, and once she bounced it, she went forward, and by the time she had was stopped to put the ball in the basket, he was underneath the basket, which makes it so much tougher. Out of bounds off of Hanover, so Brockton retains possession, and now Megan Dixon forcing it out of bounds. As much as I hate to say it, if I'm Brockton, I'm watching from anywhere and everywhere you get an open shot. Gennaro's to Fernandez, she does just that for two, is good. Bright moment there for the Lady Boxes. Foul committed by Annalicia Fernandez, called for the push. Long in for Taylor Scott. Scott to Dixon, back to Scott. Over to Flynn, her three is no good. Gelly coming down with the rebound to Scott. Now Rob sending it into the handle of the bench, rather that was Megan Dixon. Jade went in for Annalicia Fernandez. Three and a half to go in the third quarter. Brianna Santos, nowhere to go with it. Hands it off to Alex Gennaros. Gennaros bouncing it out for Robinson. Robinson to Jelani Jackson. Jackson could have taken that shot. Brianna Santos, four on the shot clock. Rockton has to put a shot up. A hold called against Lauren Gelly. Her third personal. Brockton got a break on that play. And nice job by Jade Wint. Off nice, the glass yes, and in. nice pass to Wint by uh, Megan Rob right down the court. I say Janelle's with the nice inbound pass. Jackson wow. counted in one. Brave play right there for Jackson, one of the smallest ones out there on the court at the moment, and drives in bravely, goes underneath the defender, makes the shot, and gets hammered. So a chance for a three-point play right here, bring it down to nine points. And they do. Jackson the three-point play. Oh, nice defense by uh, Jackson there. Gennaros to inbound to Jelani Jackson. Gennaros for three, short. Megan Robb coming down with the rebound. Quickly off to Scott. Wild layup attempt, no good. Gennaro's coming down with it. Alex Gennaro's hard in for Jade Went, and she was called for the travel that she was running to by Lauren Gelly. So Hanover will take over. Golden opportunity missed right there by the Lady Boxes. Down low, a wide open layup attempt was air ball, Brianna Santos coming down with the rebound. <laughs> Janae Devlin into the game for Lauren Gelly. Dixon in and a quick three is good for number 23, Catherine Fallon. That was a nice pick to pick out Gennaro's Left the um, handover shooter wide open. Gennaro's fouled by Taylor Scott. 
Janeiro showing her toughness to go up against these big trees and gets hammered, bounces right back up. Freshman gets to shoot her free throws. Janeiro's good on her first attempt, now two or three on the night from the charity stripe. Two of two at the line, two big shots to draw the boxers within 10. Scott to Fallon in for Rob. Rob can't get the shot off. Jade Ooh. went very nicely taking the ball yes. away from Megan Rob and getting it to Alex Gennaros. Yeah, nice pass by Went. Santos throwing it up, no good. Taylor Scott coming down with it. Now Dixon in for Rob. Rob off the glass and in. Nice job by Hand over there. Once they got the ball over half court, I don't think the ball was dribbled. Gennaros ripping it away from Taylor Scott, who is called for the hold. And that is three on Taylor Scott. Nice job by Gennaros to protect that basketball as it was almost stolen by the Hanover um, guard. Solani Jackson winding her way in, laying it up, fouled on her way in. Looks like Jackson did an extra move underneath with, that she didn't have to. Made, made the shot even harder for her to take. If she just went in and just tried to lay it up, I think she would have had, um, had the easy two. I don't think she realized how quickly she broke the defense down and had that easy layup. Hanover is in some foul trouble now. Three on Megan Robb as well as Taylor Scott. 17 fouls in the second half. One minute to go in the third quarter. 38 to 27, Jackson. One of two from the charity stripe and a little bit too easy there. Yeah, just a little breakdown on defense. I think uh, but Lady Box has lost their man. They're playing man to man and um, somehow they got crisscrossed on the uh, communication. Jackson to Robinson, one hands it for Wentz. Back to Robinson, who is called for the travel. Yeah, she knows it. Put herself in an odd position. She should have just shot, put the shot up. Catherine Fallon coming down with this. 35 seconds to go. But a nine second difference between shot clock and game clock. Short two, no good. Rob coming down with the rebound off the glass and in. Yeah, that was just a mismatch underneath. Hanover just had the total height advantage. Number 44, Megan, senior. Brianna Santos for three, no good. Eight seconds on the clock. Catherine Fallon turning it over to Gennaros. Gennaros all the way in, laying it up. No good. Santos coming down with the rebound. Gennaros holding her leg. A last second shot. And they're going to call it off. This is going to be no good from Brianna Santos. End of the third quarter. Brockton now down by 15 points. 42 to 27 the score. Yeah, uh, the Lady Boxers just don't have an answer for um, Hanover uh, Lady Indians. Their uh, offense is really um, clicking right now where Brockton has to work hard and scramble for every shot that they make, that they take, and unfortunately not enough of them are going in for the Lady Boxers. Well, the good news for Brockton is their outside shooting seems to have at least started to simmer, if not come to a full boil. They needed two in the fourth quarter to match the size of the Hanover Indians. Yeah, and that's the biggest problem of this ball game for the Lady Boxers is the size of the Hanover um, team altogether. I haven't, haven't, I haven't seen a short person come out there yet for the um, Lady Indians. I'm not sure what, what, the, what water they're drinking down there in Hanover, but uh, they need to share a little bit. It's up here fairly to close to Silver Lake, right? Right from fairly, the source? Yes, yes. Where's Brockton? It's getting its water from Silver Lake, but it's going to travel through miles of pipes. Pipes, yeah. Fernandez down nice. low for two is good. That was nice. 
Now Brockton needs to c come down, play some big defense, and try to get a um, turnover or a um, defensive rebound. They just can't go basket and basket the basket this late in the ball game. Brockton switching to really weird format. It looks like half zone, half man. Yeah. I guess depending on the um, offensive scheme that the uh, hand of the team is going to run Jackson right there. To Gennaros. Ooh, Gennaro. Actually, Gennaros threw that right to uh, Went, and she just wasn't ready for that ball. A bullet pass. Maybe it was deflected a little bit, but. Uh, Out of bounds off of Hanover. Brockton, 21 seconds on the shot clock, and a fresh chance to set up the offense. Gennaros thought about the three. Jade Went loses it, and a little bit too far, too hard. And it's going to be a Hanover ball. Pass was right in Went's hands. He just couldn't quite get a grasp of it. Head coach April Dingwell has officially lost her voice. Number 20, Megan Dixon with a layup, 44 to 29. Yeah, nice job there, looks like a little backdoor play. And Brianna Santos will come back into the game for Brockton. Jackson, a wild shot. Wow, she had great control of the ball with her right hand. Kind of cocked it back, let the def defender commit, and then somehow tossed it up there with her wrist. Great shot by the uh, small guard for the boxes. <laughs> Megan Robb and Aaron Flynn back in the ball game for the Indians. Jade Went going to the Brockton bench in favor of Santos. Kelly down low for Rob. A couple of bounces off the rim and in. Brockton down by 15. Gennaro's pump fake works her way inside, gives it to Fernandez. Fernandez driving inside off the glass, no good. Santos with the rebound. She put it up strong because she knew she had a defender behind her. Loose ball picked up by Jelani Jackson, who tripped over Aaron Flynn, who is called for the block. Now, bonus situation for Brockton, one on one with 18 fouls against the Hanover Indians. Taylor Scott with her four personal fouls finds her way to the bench. Taylor Scott reminds me a little bit of Taylor Swift in the face. Blue eyes, blonde hair. Can't see saying. Pretty tall. Yeah. Jackson, two or two at the line, 46 to 33 the score. Brockton down by 13. Nowhere to go with it, finds Rob who can't hold on onto it. Now Gennaros all the way up for Fernandez, Fernandez had Robinson on the other Ooh. side instead, off the glass and in. Nice spin move by uh, Fernandez. And Robinson took a hit fighting for a potential rebound. Over the back gonna be called against Annalicia Fernandez. I like the aggress aggressiveness of uh, the Lady Boxers defense still with 534 left and they're down by 11. If they can uh, hold the uh, Lady Indians a couple more times and get a couple more baskets, it could get interesting, but 
We're up for three. Yeah, she's been hot all night. Ba basically unstoppable. She can hit it from the outside. She can hit it from underneath. Jackson tripped up by Megan Dixon. Or rather, that will be called on Janae Devlin. Fernandez out, went back in. Sprockton continues to shuffle big men, trying to match up with Megan Robb and the Hanover Indians. Yeah, Coach April Dingwell has a tough assignment tonight. Even tougher because she has no voice. Yes. Santos fighting for it. Jump ball called. It'll be a handover ball. Yeah, Santos playing tough, tough D. You got to give her credit. She's out there clawing, scratching. Megan Dixon down low. Now Rob thought about the two. Winds her way in and off the glass and in. Exactly, she wound her way in. Dribbled a couple of times, went right around the defense. Jackson to Robinson, Gennaros for three, no good. Able to fling it out of bounds very nicely off of Aaron Flynn of yeah. the Indians. Nice job by Gennaros to go after the ball. It would have been out of bounds Brockton, but she was able to get it and <laughs> slam it back into the defender's uh, legs and it bounced out of bounds. Brockton's ball. Jackson to Robinson, back to Jackson. Now Santos. Robinson for three is good. They need to hit a few more of those. 11 point edge for the Indians, 51 to 40 the score, and this one will find its way out of bounds. Megan Robb with an excellent effort to try to save it. Yes, definitely hustled over there. Jelani Jackson to Robinson to Wentz. Went driving baseline, stepped out of bounds. Taylor Scott and Catherine Fallon back in the game. They replace Lauren Gelly and Janae Devlin. Santos. Excellent work fighting for the loose ball and steal. Janae, or rather number 23, Catherine Fallon countered in. Wow. She's a beast underneath. She knows where to go when the ball is sh shot. She can read where it might bounce. And she has great instincts to put it right back up and in. Jelani Jackson called for the push and Fernandez back in for Wint. Megan Robb at the line, and she gets three points the old-fashioned way, 54 to 40. And a full timeout called by head coach Brian Fisher of the Hanover Indians. Miles, 343 left, Brockton down 14. Their outside shooting has started to come to a small boil. Yes, it is, but the problem is they just don't have an answer for the, for the big ladies underneath for the Hanover uh, Indians, Lady Indians. Um, just, just one of those nights when it's a total mismatch. Brockton hanging in, hanging in there gallantly, but uh, I think uh, the Hanover Indians is a little bit too much for these Lady Boxers this evening. Still 3.43, as you say, left in the clock, and they're only down by 14 points. But they can't go basket for basket here on. They're going to have to somehow hope that maybe Hanover gets a little um, cold in the shooting department. But it's tough when, they, when they're when um, pushing it inside. They just um, this, third, this fourth quarter has been an inside game and a, a mismatch for the uh, Hanover uh, Lady Indians. Miles number 44 of the Hanover Indians, Megan Robb with 20 of Hanover's 54 points. Wow. 
and you know at least uh, four, 13, 14 of those points have been underneath the basket. And she's, in the red. and she's hit a couple of threes as well. Exactly. Well, a two from Fernandez. Gennaro's called for the hit, and Megan Dixon will be at the line for two shots. And this Hanover team, a great free throw, free throw shooting team. Good fundamentals displayed by the Hanover Indians. And two or two at the line was Dixon, all but putting the nail in the coffin for the boxers. 56 to 42 with 3.15 to go. Fernandez to Robinson. She can't handle the pass out of bounds. Hanover ball. Yeah, she was thinking about moving ahead before she had her hands on the basketball. A hand check, one of the wow. newest rules in MIAA basketball called against Brianna Santos. And that puts Hanover in a one-and-one -one shooting bonus wow. situation. I've seen worse contact during this game than that hand check. Yeah, hand check's always a weak call. Yeah. But courtesy of head coach April Dingwell losing her voice, we will not be talking to her post-game on what will almost assuredly be a Brockton Boxer loss and Alex Gennaros called for the double dribble. Yeah, that was, that was good defense by the uh, Hanover team. Robin for Aaron Flynn. Flynn to the charity stripe for Fallon. Fallon to Scott in for Rob. Off the glass and in. And that make it 22 for Megan Robb. Yeah, they got like a little semi-lob play. That's like a lob, and it's been working all evening for the Lady Indians. Yes. Gennaro's for three, and that's good. She had to go way downtown and to get open to shoot that three, because uh, they've been pretty good at Dean her up all evening. Robb down low, fouled by Robinson. Elizabeth Williams in for Michaela Robinson. Rob at the charity stripe, looking to add to her 22 points. Does just that. Fifty-nine to forty-five, fourteen point edge. Megan Robb looking to make it around sixty, and she does. Yeah, the captain of this uh, Lady Indians team showing great leadership in this ball game. Gennaro saw the way in off the glass, no good. Brockton able to wrestle down the rebound. Jelani Jackson with two fifteen left, trying to get it out to Williams instead. Deflected to Fernandez. Jackson for three is good. Nice ball movement and hustle by the Lady Boxes there. Taylor Scott. All the way across, turning it over, at least momentarily. And a travel called against Megan Dixon. Miles, one must ask, where was this effort for the first three and a half quarters of this game? Yeah, Lady Boxes really putting it on the putting on the uh, Jets here in this last three minutes of this basketball game. Everyone knows this 32 minutes in a basketball game, you can't turn it on with three and a half to go and expect to come off with a W. Jelani Jackson for two is no good. Fernandez coming down with the rebound. Her putback attempt from the arms of Taylor Scott. Now Megan Robb on the other end. 
No good, Jelani Jackson coming down with the rebound. Jackson, get a stop and pop and go for three. Fernandez to Jackson to Santos. Her three is no good. Scott coming down with the rebound. One minute to go in the fourth quarter. Santos called for the push. 60 to 48 the score. Brockton down by 12. Taylor Scott at the line. No good. Williams coming down with the rebound. Rare miss by this Hanover team. Jackson to Gennaros. Pump fake. Works away inside. Bad angle shot. The push called against Brianna Santos. I believe that Brianna Santos has fouled out of this game. Yeah, she's really hustled all, all game, trying to do the best she can on defense, diving after basketballs. <laughs> Catherine Fallon. Good on her first attempt. Santos has indeed fouled out of this game. We have the first look of the day. It's a moot point, but Ashanti Allen, the senior, in the game for Brockton. And 2-2 two two at the line was Catherine Fallon. Megan Robb finds her way to the Hanover bench. 45 seconds to go on a 14-point edge for the Indians. Jelani Jackson. Fouled and will be at the line for two. Megan Dixon called for that foul. I think the Lady Boxers have come up against their stiffest competition yet this year. These uh, Hanover Lady Indians. This is the Really first tough game the boxers have played. Lost to Marshfield at home. Marshfield always one of the better teams in the state. But Brockton was with the Indians for the first quarter, at least on the defensive end. Oh yeah, that first quarter was a good defensive battle on both ends. But because of uh, Hanover's height advantage, it slowly made a difference in this ball game. Jelani Jackson now under 30 seconds to go, no shot clock. Jackson to Ashanti Allen. Allen to Gennaros. Gennaros to Fernandez. Fernandez back to Gennaros. Her short floater, no good. The rebound tip to Ashanti Allen. Her layup, no good. Getting her own rebound, kicking it out as the buzzer sounds to Elizabeth Williams. The last second shot, no good. Miles, the final 62 to 50, a 12 point loss for the Brockton Boxers. Yeah, and it, it, was, it was a tough loss. Um, this Hanover team, I see them going a long way in the playoffs, but it's just total height advantage for the Brockton Boxers. They did what they could with what they had. They were just overmatched this evening. Miles, well, talk about the effort of both Megan Robb, the big man in the paint, and Megan Dixon for the Hanover Indians. Yeah, uh, two blue chippers. I see them going a long way at the high school. They did definitely got some good basketball skills and knowledge. Uh, just a great game by uh, those two leaders of uh, Hanover. Well, 12-point loss to the Hanover Indians for the Brockton Boxers. 62-50, to 50, your final score from Staff Gymnasium. For everyone here at Brockton Community Access, my broadcast partner, Big Game Miles Jackson, our cameraman for tonight's festivities, John Pinto. I'm Mad Dog Matt Nelson, and we will see you next game.